they've got a new arrival today, you can't really see it where it is at the moment, but this is like a <clears throat> this came um delivered yesterday. It's a small little cabaret generic cab. Um it was about seventy quid. Um and I couldn't really pass up. It doesn't come with a uh, board or a one I haven't put a TV in it. Um we'll go around and have a look at the back and see what's in there. Um and well <clears throat> just made a space for it. <laughs> Thanks. Get rid of that uh, tire as well. Look at the state of that thing. My wife wants to do that. <laughs> um I'll have a quick look inside. Let's get the keys. Okay, so we've got the keys. Take the back door off. Ugh. So yeah, it's nothing special. It's just a cool little small cab, and you'll see in a second. It's about the same size as the, the pack cabri that I'm building, but it's got a full German wire loom in it. It's got wiring loom in. It's got a PSU for the monitor, although I won't be using that. Um, it's got a switch and power supply. Um, it's even got, I think, I've not really checked it out. Let me get the old torch from the phone. There we go. I've not really had a look at this, but I think there's a coin mech in there and uh, on the coin door. And I think it takes more than one type of um, coin, as it were. Um, just got some kind of little PCB to, to read the coins, I think, I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't tried it yet, I've only, it hasn't moved since it's got into the garage, I'm just about to move it now into place, so, um, let's turn the light off. Yeah, um, actually put it back on. The main thing for the, um, monitor's quite cool, it's got like little runners. And, uh, you sort of slide it in place on a bit of wood, I haven't got that, but I can make my own. Um, we've got glass in there as well. The joysticks are a bit crap and the buttons are a bit crap, but we'll replace those. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that. I'm going to make it, like, make it like a dedicated, I'm not sure, like a conversion. I'm going to convert it to something, but I'm not sure what. We've got to finish the Pac-Man machine first, obviously. Um, but yeah, the speakers in there as well, so... Yeah, it's not bad for 70 old quid. I could have probably paid a bit, get a bit cheaper, but... I wanted it then, so... <laughs> Uh, let's get in its place. Okay, we've got this little cab in its place now. Um, so we've got four on there. Eventually, I think we're going to get them all this side. Um, once I get rid of all the crap in here, look at the state of it, have like moving stuff around. Those monitors hopefully go and soon. Those these down here makes more space. But anyway, for now, it's it's here. Uh, why don't we see if we can get the control panel? Uh, straighten this. Uh, Tripod out. So you can see there's no marquee, or there's, I think there's a light, I think this is just a bit of plastic or card. You could take that off and put a rubber marquee in there. Um, we've got some glass here with some, some wood on the inside, and then we've got some crappy, horrible, horrible joysticks. Yuck. They don't feel nice at all. Almost like sort of jukebox style ones. <clears throat> and this is, um, if we come down and zoom in a little bit. I don't really like this style of, um, can you see that? This shiny old torch on it. It's a bit dark in here. You can see that. It's a 10, 20, 50, and a pound. So it will take multiple coins, which is quite cool. Um, <clears throat> the guy I bought it off said um, they, they were found, or seized by the police actually, I think they're all little sort of pokey units, which are now apparently illegal for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure. It, it's, like I say, it's, it's a little, little mini cow, there's, um, there are similar ones called Tata, which is basically Tato's name in the UK back in the 80s, um, that are similar to this, but the monster sort of sits further back. Um, but yeah, it's it's an odd thing, but it's quite cool. I don't really like generic cabs, but I mean, this I can do something with this, I'm sure. Um, make it into a dedicated conversion or, uh, or something. So, see if we can get a control panel. I think there's some wing nuts that I can see on the other side. So let me see if I can unscrew those. Two little wing nuts off. 
be a weird way of doing things, but this is now released this. It's quite clean underneath actually. You can see that. So what have we got? Is it sort of wood here? Not sure, is that metal all the way around? I don't think so. First of a zoom in. Yeah, I'm not sure what these joysticks are. They're looking old. Uh, I've just got fat. It's had six buttons on it. Which is weird. So it had, or well, four is that? Yeah, four. So, oops. As you can see, it's like almost like a wooden. I think that's wood there. And we've got two, three, four. You can see, just in there. And I've just then put some new holes in there for the other buttons. It's odd. And there's only two, it was two over here. So, yeah, it's very strange. Um, It's quite clean though, pretty cool. Um, go back inside. Yeah, I don't know what all these things. These are just, I think they're just sort of hacked up. I said that it's quite tidy. The wire past that point is quite tidy. I think this was something else that's passed in a past life. I'm not sure what. Um, I'll just put the tripod back. So. We've got a metal, metal overlay on here, which is what I want to do on my Pac-Man machine. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to salvage the metal, because there's loads of holes in it already. Might have to make my own. Um, but yeah, we're not going to touch this until um, we get to, well, once we've done the Pac-Man. Um, Let's open up the, uh, the old coin door and see what's in there. Probably nothing. Uh, so how do we get the cash out? It's gone in. That's a bit weird. Unless you're going to go around the back. Oh, that's odd. I can't see how you get the cash. But this is a little, I don't know if you saw it before, it's a little circuit board <clears throat> here. What does that say? It's a credit board. I can't read what it says on it. It's a. Chefraz credit board. Weird. So we've got our is that power? Yeah, we've got like a little light in there. Just in there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's sort of shut it all up anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna do much with this at the moment, but like I say I wanna get the uh, the old Mr. Pac-Man then first, before I even think, think about doing something with this. Again, I, I don't know, I could do a Miss Pac-Man. Maybe. I could. I, mean, I quite like the angle of the monitor, where the monitor would be at. But I could put it back a bit further. I'm not sure. I haven't, like I say, I haven't decided and I've got loads of time to think about it. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that. Let's see if we can come back a bit. It's a cool little cabaret machine. We can convert it into something. I don't know if we'd use a real game board or just put some like a main machine in it just for now until we decide what we're going to do with it. But like I say, we need to sort this one out first. 